this is unique from unique maker audio i got the podcast coming you know uh, i i got my little uh, other daughter here i got a whole bunch of daughters you know what i mean they've been holding me down for 28 years 27 years while i've been locked up and you know right now she got a bunch of questions she says she always wanted to ask and she's gonna ask and we're gonna see where it go from there but for those of y'all who don't know she's wearing the shut the fuck up shirt we got the shut the fuck up line ready the shut the fuck up line is so that people like me you understand what i'm saying uh 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 that when we got caught, we knew to shut the fuck up and not bring nobody else in. I got caught. I did wrong. I take my responsibility. I don't need to tell on Kenny Boo, Johnny Bob, and Susie who. You know what I mean? Because I did it. And I got caught. So I don't need to bring nobody else's name up. And I'm telling you now, I did 26 years. You know what I mean? Y'all think that it was rough. It wasn't rough or whatever. But I'm letting you know it was very emotional. I went through a whole lot that went on. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it was really sad. You know what I'm saying? Many nights crying at night because I'm sitting here, you know what I mean, getting pictures from my kids. I got a whole strong kid. Let nobody know I'm crying. You know what I mean? Can't even tell my kids I'm crying because they're looking up to me as far as to be the father. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're king of the castle and, you know, to uphold everything. You know what I'm saying? So I got to always show a good face. So uh, this podcast is to show light to that. And that's what my whole movement is about. So when I talk all that gangster shit like the joint I dropped with me and Flip yesterday, them joints get mad views. You know what I mean? 10,000 views like it's nothing in an hour or two. You know what I mean? I know that's what y'all want, but at the same time, I give y'all something else and introduce y'all to the flip side of doing time. It ain't always about all the fly shit that get the 10,000 views. Sometimes I got to slow it down and let y'all know, you know, as far as that it, 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 it's hard time, man. You know what I mean? Because you lose your family and you hurt the very ones that you chose to think that you was helping. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you go out there, I'm selling drugs. I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to buy my, my, my son dirt bikes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to buy a home for moms, a home for, for, for my kid's mother, make sure my grandkids straight. I got all these big plans. And then when, you know, the people came and grabbed me and rearranged all that, now I got to sit back for 26 years and watch all of that crumble and go in all kinds of, di all kinds of directions that I have no control over. I mean, no control. You know what I mean? And, and that was the devastating part. So for y'all that's out there looking, that's hustling, thinking about hustling, gangbang, or breaking the law in general, whatever it is, to be taken away from your family, know that you're not only hurting yourself, you're hurting, uh, you know what I mean, the dearest ones to you, because that's what I call the trickle-down effect. You know what I mean? By me getting locked up, I wound up hurting my, my, my children. You know what I mean? I wound up hurt, hurting their, their mother, you know, my mother. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, nieces and nephews that I don't even know. I mean, picture 26 years. You know, 26 years is a long time, you know? But like I said, I'm telling you, it ain't worth it. You know what I mean? If you're doing something wrong, I, I advise you to think twice. You know what I mean? And, and I would definitely advise you to stop. You know what I mean? But if you choose to keep going, come cop one of these shirts, man. Because <laughs> they for you. You know what I mean? Just know to shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? It ain't that hard. Right or wrong? I got a sassy over here laughing. You know what I mean? I'm going to let her introduce herself in a minute. But she's wearing the shut the fuck up line. For y'all to really understand, I'm pushing this for y'all to know. I'm not promoting selling drugs. I'm not promoting breaking the law. I'm not promoting any of that. I'm promoting getting out of all that, going to school, getting your education, getting the trade, doing whatever you got to do to make it and do it the right way. But if you so choose and feel you tougher than me and you can handle that 26 years less emotional, you know what I mean, than me, you understand? And come out less emotionally scarred than me, by all means. Do what you do. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you not to do it. You know what I mean? So I know, you know what I mean? A lot of y'all don't understand my message because my life and my story so fly. It's a movie. I know it's a movie. You know what I mean? And yeah, they label me the cockage kingpin because I am. You know what I mean? Because I know who I am, what I am, and I know what I'm here for now. And God gave me another chance to reach out and talk to y'all. The only way to get the, 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 the younger generation to want to listen to me is for them to know who I am and what I've been through. Because the first thing they're going to say is, what's his resume? Who's this black ass nigga up here talking? Why does he feel he could tell me not to sell drugs because his dumb ass got caught, uh, got life, you know what I mean? Got did 26 years and then got off the life. But bottom line is, I done been there and done that. You know what I mean? So I'm telling you it's not worth it. You know what I mean? But if you choose to do it, here's what it is. At the meantime, I'm going to give you my little stories about, you know what I mean, the different things that I went through with selling my 25 keys a day and doing what I do. But it's not to brag. Trust me, it's not to brag. You suckers think it's to brag because you suckers looking for something to hate on so you can hit the comment and play your keyboard gangster in the back and talk your dumb ass shit. You know what I mean? But for the real people that know what time it is, this shit is for you. You know what I mean? Because you want to know who I am. You want to know what I did. Go read a Roaring Harlem. Then when you're done reading that, come back. Then we talk about everything. 
You know what I mean? Then it's no filter. You know what I mean? But for now, I got to give it to y'all slow in, in, in increments. Because if I give you too much of who I am, I don't want to scare you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I definitely don't want to do that. So I'm just giving to you a little bit. If I give my little smile and I bring my little cute little assistant out here, you know, Ceci going to break it down. And she got her questions, got a phone there. She's dead serious. And she waiting on me to shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? But I'm going to shut the fuck up. Go ahead. What, what you want to talk about, Ceci? So what up, y'all? My name is Ceci. Um, I'm definitely into, we're about to get into his ass about politics, about just being a black man in America, about being in the system, and we even going to hit him with some feminist shit. Oh, gosh. All right? We're going to see his thoughts on that, because as a leader, he has to empower us out here, so we're going to get into his ass right now. All right, Pop? All right. All right, now. So we're going to start off, since you're talking about the youth and how you can, um, like lead them we're going to talk start talking about that and about prison, prison well, let, let, let's just say how i could enlighten them let's i ain't going to say lead all right we you know what i mean enlighten. because they're leaders all right we just have to bring that out of them and show them that they're leaders i can agree with that so what would you say to young people who are taking their first steps on the criminal path first thing off the top of my mind is don't do it you know what i mean that's it. Can't get no simpler than that. Don't do it. It's not pause. worth it. It's not to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? <laughs> now, baby girl looking good. Yes. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. You know, it's a family like, affair. This is how we do. Okay. She learning something. So now I got to tone my language down because little mama out here. You know what well, I mean? You so, don't have to. Not, but, nah, but we're going to do that just to let them know because we got all types of haters that just sit back. I mean, suckers. You got suckers that yeah. sit back. And just look for things to criticize on the keyboard. Instead of saying that looks real cute, the little pretty little baby come out here and say hello. You know what I mean? They're going to want to say, oh, they got a baby out there and he cursed. You know well, what I mean? I, I think parenting is super important. And that's where you have to stand as a parent and know how to lead your children. So my child is going to be a beautiful, strong black woman. And she's going to know the difference from right and wrong. And words cannot influence her. Right, boo? Only the powerful ones. <laughs> okay. Not bullshit words. <laughs> now back to your questions. <laughs> All right. So like I was saying, so my question was, for people that are starting their criminal path right now, what is your advice for them? My okay. advice for them is not to do it. It's not It's not worth it. At the end, in, in, in the long run, you know what I mean? You're going to see what time it is, and you're going to see that. You know what I mean? Like I said, you can look at me and all I've been through, man. And I'm telling you, it wasn't easy. 26 years is so damn long, I can't even remember what yesterday is sometimes. So I just push forward every day. You know what I mean? Like that drunk that they had Drew Barrymore and uh, uh, Adam Sandler on where every day they woke up feeling like it was the same day. That's what it felt like at certain points during the bid, like during the time in ADX. Five years, when I went in, when I went in in 95 and when I came out in 99, 2000, it, it, it felt like it was one long day. You know what I mean? It didn't feel like it was five years. I couldn't tell you what I did last week. You know what I mean? I couldn't tell you what did. Definitely couldn't tell you what I did the week before, the month before, or whatever. Because everything is just crammed in because there's nothing to do. The same format. They bring the three meals a day, same time. You go to wreck the same time, and you go to bed the same time. I mean, it is what it is. Right. You know, don't do it. That's what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I would say, though, what would you say, though, to, to the youth right now that they're on these past two criminal activities? How... In the long run, how does that affect them as a, as even their individual self? Well, we can speak as a man since you're a man, as a man, because some people will, men will say to you that they want to be providers because that's the, the, the whole mentality that's out there and that since the system is against them, that this is the only way they could do it. I mean, I felt that way at that time. So I fully so understand. Yeah, yeah, because that's how I felt. I felt it, was, it, it wasn't no jobs available. I mean, I give you all types of what I learned later on in psychology is called mollifying. You know what I mean? Making excuses to justify, you know what I mean, my, 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 my criminal actions. You know what I mean? Trying to make my wrong a right. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, it is what it is. So what we do is, you know, we got to take responsibility. You know what I mean? There's always something out there. It wasn't much when I, well, you know, when I was coming up. But it was enough to get other people to go straight. So I can't give you no excuse. And that's all it'll be for why I didn't go straight. I chose to go crooked. Right. It is a choice. You know what I mean? Think, and I think that the youth and even people on that path need to know that that is a straight choice. And it's about accountability right there. So mm -hmm. I can agree with that. And the first and thing is to a a a admit it. Like when you go to AA and all that other stuff, you already know that when you do all that, that the first thing you say is you admit that you're an alcoholic or you admit that you're on drugs. You know what I mean? So you got to admit that you're a criminal. 
you're on a criminal path, mm -hmm. you're doing a criminal lifestyle, and it's wrong. Right. If you don't feel it's wrong, you are not going to change like an alcoholic or, or a drug addict is right. not going to change right. if they don't recognize that them getting high is wrong. Right. You understand? Right. So no. you have to take responsibility right. for yourself. I took right. mine, right. and that's how I was able to shape my life and get back to where I'm at today. But I can sit here and, you know, kick it. That's right. You know? And, and, and the Nile is a river in Egypt. <laughs> so, you know? All right. So let's talk about just some things in the system. How do you feel about the death penalty? Should it be? Should it not be? As a man that sat in there with people that were probably on death row or were not, people that were contemplating if they're going to end up on death row, how do you feel about that? You know, man, you can speak both sides. Man, like I said, man, I mean, that that's really a hard one, to be honest, mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, first of all, no one should be able to take a life but God. You understand what I'm saying? But... I've met brothers that done some horrendous things, man. Wow. Horrendous things that, you know, make me second guess that thought. But me being a grounded man and spiritual and knowing that God is in control, also know that a lot of people is not right up here and a lot of people is just plain evil. Right. You know what I mean? But who who's in a position to judge who's evil and who's not right? Because when you're going to, through the court system, the prosecutor's job, you know what I mean? And I'm giving to your role. The prosecutor, to into them, their job is to get a conviction. Right. That's it. Right. It's a job to them. Yeah, to get it's a, a conviction. It's a job to them and it's a money to the, it's, to, the, to the investors. To get a conviction. They don't mm -hmm. care. If they put it on paper, they want a conviction. If you put it on paper and then somebody come forward and say, no, I'm the one that did it. Then they say, well, you got to cop out to something lesser. But they just admitted they did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I can't let you go. You know what I mean? Because right. you got to plead guilty to something. But they just freed me. Being, being a Jamaican, do you believe in jungle justice? Oh, yes. All ah. day. All day. You know what I mean? All day. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, eye for eye, man. Right, because you know in Jamaica, before the cops arrive, yeah, they you already, already know. The cops the come get the body and the, and the pieces, pieces of the body that's left. Basically. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, but now at, at, at my age, like I said, I know a lot of people is not right. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of people, a lot of people just play stupid. saying on the criminal side, do you feel like they should get a chance to explain themselves or why they did what they did? Or is it is it right that the community can whip on their ass? I mean, you know, it depends where you at. I can't justify, you know, you know, what should or shouldn't happen. But I know what I would do if someone did something mm -hmm. to violate me or mine. But to really get into a mind frame to try and, you know, make a decision if the next person should give jungle justice for something that was done to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because right. I might not think it's that serious that deserve right. the but death penalty or death. Comes, but if somebody did something as serious as rape. No, no, no. understand that. No, what I'm saying is I might not feel that what they did is uh, worth it. Severe, right. You know, as severe. But the victim, they got a whole different, you right. know what I mean, thought pattern and, and, and the way they think. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what we're really dealing with. Get into our next question. What would you say came good out of being in jail? Is there anything that you can actually say was a good thing from being in jail? Yeah, I found myself. You know what I mean? I would say I found myself. That's that was good. all the time of the day. You know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, and that's the best way to put it. I found myself. I'm able to deal with my children. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 my children's mothers, my mother, you know. I can deal with, with family a, a little bit different, and I see them for who they are. Would you say that you had time to actually start listening to them instead? Because in your fast life, maybe some things may be too loud. And now that you had a phone call in the cell, you were able to hear people in a different way? I'm going to be honest because me, they only gave us 300 minutes a month. And in order to keep my sanity, I continue to do things on the outside that was connected to the outside as far as to generate some revenue and to keep my name alive because I knew I was coming out one day. So I had to keep it alive just enough to not really, you know what I mean, bring too much heat or too much noise or too much questions. You know what I'm saying? So when I use my 300 minutes, which ain't nothing, you know what I mean? When I use my 300 minutes a month, because you picture using 300 minutes. 300 minutes is 20, 15-minute calls. So that means I couldn't even call home every day for 15 minutes for 30 days. Wow. I could do it for 20 days, and I ain't got none for 10 days. Wow. So they designed that 
to disrupt the community. Do you think that's right that the system does that? No, 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 no. That was that's a whole other joint I could get mm-hmm. into. Matter of fact, we could knock that out of one of these podcast questions right, now. because that disconnects people from family. You know I mean? and that so I'm, I'm going to break that down. Right. When I got locked up, when I got into it, I got in the riot back in 95, and I wound up in Lewisburg, October 25. Was rioting. You know what I mean? Yeah, I did all that. Not proud of it, but yeah, I did all that. You know, big-ass riot in Lewisburg. Everybody know what I did. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, but when the riot jumped off, and then they sent me to ADX, and uh, and I got up there, it was like... Is ADX another prison? A different prison? ADX is a prison within a prison. It's a punishment within a punishment. So it's like a maximum level type? Maximum, maximum, maximum to the 10th degree like. Well, damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, um, when I did that and I went, before I went, we was able to use the phone as much as we wanted. But in Lewisburg, they had two sides, the east side and the and the west side. They called it the sand and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the map side or some shit. But... One day, one side is on, and you use the phone as much as you want back to back. You had to call collect. It was so old back then. You know what I mean? It was so long ago that they actually had operators where they oh, had young connect. college kids that, that will call in, it. and a young lady will answer in college that's working, making a couple extra dollars, and say, oh, can I help you? Like, damn, mom, you sound good. You know what I mean? I was about to ask you. you, you already started pen, pen paling these people? Did we? <laughs> we got plenty of visits from them. Oh, you know what my mean? God. I, 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 I wound up, you know. I'm not bragging. Uh, you know, just keeping it real because y'all want the real. You know right. what I mean? I want to meeting girls and then selling them to the homies. You know what I mean? You know, because... Pimping is not easy, you Yeah, I mean, I didn't have no room for nothing new. You know what I mean? But, you know, when they try to holler at me, of course, you know, I'm going to get the number and all that. I'm going to make sure my man, you know, DP201 get his. You know what I'm not saying? Not 201. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> if I'm going to get mine, the cameraman got to get his. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right or wrong. If you're part of the team, I eat, he eat. You know I what mean? I mean? So, you know, brother. yeah, so so my children's mother's coming up to see me regular, bringing the kids. So I don't have room for another woman in my life. But you know what I mean? DP 201 might be single. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe his family, maybe the family abandoned him. So I bring him hope, you know, and give him something to go in his life. But anyway, to get back into that, to speed it up, to get on track. Where we at with that is now when that happened, they turned around and uh, they had a big thing with, uh, 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 I know y'all heard of uh, the situation. And I'm going to say names because this is already out there and this is facts. So this is already podcast, you know, everybody know, but I'm going to give you the inside skinny on it. You had Rayfo Edmonds that was hustling in the joint, was doing all this over the phone. You understand? We was able to get the phone every day. Each side get the phone as much as you want for 12, for this whole day. And then the next day, the other side get it. But the gates is open. We can walk down the other side and use it where every day you go back and forth. But Rayfo Edmonds made 3,000 calls in 30 days. 3,000? Yeah, see, that's what they said. He made 3,000 calls. jail politics. You know what I mean? He made 3,000 calls in 30 days, and he was moving more coke than a little bit right out of Lewisburg. You know what I mean? So from what he did as being, you know what I mean? Not to brag, as being a criminal genius, you know what I mean? To continue to do what he's doing, which he wound up turning out to be sour because he wound up turning on his peoples. You know what I mean? That he was hitting off out there. But from him doing what he's doing. Yeah, he definitely needs to shut the fuck up shirt. And I'm sure all the brothers in D.C. will agree with me that he needs to shut the fuck up shirt. So y'all free to go to Mecca Audio Urban Wear to order your shut the fuck up shirt and send it to the good brother Rafo so he knows to shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? But So make sure you get him whatever color you think matches his eyes. You know what I mean? And make sure he right. But anyway, you know, to get back on a serious topic, from him doing that, now the government came in and... They caught him for moving all this coke with uh, Gazelle Blanca's son, I think it was. You understand oh, what I'm saying? Oh, yes. They, they, you know, on VH1, they started a show, the Mafia, VH1, yeah. the Mafia crew or whatever, mm-hmm. and he's on there. Oh, mm-hmm. Cartel Crew, that's what it's called. Cartel okay. Crew. Well, he got caught up, he got caught up with that. You and understand what I'm saying? And then from him, get, from him getting caught up in that, Rayful I'm talking about, when he started telling, he told everything that he did over the phone, who he gave the drugs to, what he did. So what they did is because they was trying to destroy the black family anyway. And that's all they was locking up with the black people from the war on drugs. So from them trying to destroy the black family, what they did now is they came and they said, oh, no, he made 3,000 calls a month. He's committing criminal activity. The community is not safe. Let's limit their minutes. And they fought all the way from like 95 to like maybe 2000, 2001. You know what I mean? Talking about six years for the government to fight. You know what I mean? With all the, the prison uh, uh, um, reform people fighting against them. Because they, 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 they talking about cutting off our family ties. Right. 
that's basically what they're doing when they cut, you, cut you understand what I'm saying so what they use was what Rafu did and then what uh, a bunch of other people did you understand what I'm saying and you know it wasn't even a bunch because if you added up the amount it came up because they did the, the, the ratio it came up to like 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 minus nine thousand fifty five and one negative percent of the population was you know breaking the law with the phone Damn. it was way minus everything but they threw it up there and only spoke on you know the stuff that people were doing to break the law you understand what i'm saying right. you know violating the phone right and by them doing that they got away with giving us only 300 minutes a month once they did that that crushed the family right. you know what i mean because like you said you would be days without being able to call you know what i mean but and, and we out in california and our family is in new york we can't get no weekly visits so how we keep in touch with our family with 300 minutes? You know what I mean? Then we start buying phone minutes from each other, from people that don't use the minutes that's in the other things that say, man, screw the minutes and screw the family. Our burner phones You know what I mean? No, no, because they didn't have phones like that then. Back then, they still had G.I. Joe phone with a big oh, motorcycle battery on your backpack on the right, street. Right, right. So you couldn't hide that in the prison. But anyway, so now you get all that. So they dropped it down to 300 minutes a month. Once they dropped it down to 300 minutes a month, that really crushed everything. So now you don't have enough minutes to even keep a basic relationship with 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 with, with one child's mother, right. and majority of us are, 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 that was in there. You know, not saying everybody. Like I said, the majority of us that was in there, we had more than one children's mothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? More than one household we had to call. So three hundred minutes is not gonna last. When you call over here, you know what I mean? Your children want to talk to you. You got more than one children by or even one, and then the mother would like to talk to you, and then her mother might want to talk to you, right. or her brother might want to talk to you. You know what I mean? So you done burnt out 45, you know, minutes out of the 300 minutes with this one phone call. Would you say that you have lost relationships, oh, ties, yes. connections because you had to pick and choose and prioritize who you call and who you don't? Oh, yes. I already know I did. And that's why I love my supporters because they understood that when I didn't call, it wasn't, it wasn't because I chose, you know, it wasn't because I chose not to call. It's that I couldn't call. So when I did call, they knew to listen. And trying to accommodate what I needed to make my bid a little smoother. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, to fight towards my freedom. Or to push whatever I was pushing with on Facebook, Instagram, or whatever. I know y'all see me out there all this time. You know, so, I mean, and it was crazy. Because I had to, I, 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 at first, I, we had to write letters and I couldn't write. So I had to type out a letter. With, I had to type out a post. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, today is a good day. I hope everything is all right. And I shoot it out. You know what I mean? And had a company that was doing it. You know what I mean? And uh, they'll take it and they'll scan it and then they'll put it up just like that you wrote it. whole process. You know what I mean? It sounds like it. But, that, but, but we still got a chance to get with social media. Right. Now, social media, when that came out in 2010 for the prison system, when, when, when with Facebook, when it cranked up in the prison system, that was the best thing ever happened to an inmate was that Facebook. So you guys were just allowed to use Facebook? No, nah, we weren't allowed to use it. We had to manipulate our way to use it. Oh, you understand right. what I'm saying? Meaning... Um, I get on the phone and, I, and you set up a Facebook for me and I say, hey, Ceci, I want you to uh, paste today and say um, today's a good day. You know what I mean? And I'm, I want to thank you all for being here. And you'll cut and paste that. Then when the people comment, like or whatever, you'll write down, you know, you'll, you'll open up all the likes, you'll cut and paste it, you'll copy it and you'll you know what I mean? You and, had a real support team for them to be doing all that. Oh that's yeah, a, that's a meticulous work, right there. No, it is, and I and and and, and, I, and I had some excellent support teams. You know what I mean? That that worked with me, and I understood that they got tired at times. You understand what I'm saying? But I mean, they understood that I couldn't do for myself. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, they was helping. You know, but you know, back to the phone thing. So that's what really destroyed the uh, the so communication with the with the families. When they drop them 300 minutes a month, man. Right. But all that was from one man. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, 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 you know, that's why they speak so so messed up about them. And the government is so slick. They try and hide what I just told you of where the 300 minutes came from. Right. Because he was working for them. Exactly. So they try to protect him in that manner. Right. But they still could never put him amongst the men. You know what I mean? Because right. big shout out to D.C., Mo Styles, Larry Mo. You know what I mean? Whack. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 what's about Robert Davis? You understand what I'm saying? You know, face. You understand? I mean, big tone. You know what I mean? Antoine White. You know what I mean? Uh, um, uh, uh, Minx. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 uh you know, okay. I can go on and on. You know what I mean? With them, that, that's just out of DC. Way for them to oppress. To yeah, oppress. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But, but, like I said, we didn't let that stop us. Mm. 
because we pushed forward. We had good family members, good family structure that stuck with us and worked around these headaches. You know what I mean? And these barriers that they put in our way. Because it was nothing more than barriers, man. You know what I mean? Could, it, could you imagine you got a child's birthday that's the 31st? You know what I mean? And then you got another child's birthday that's the 15th. By the time you call the one on the 15th, use the rest of the minutes for the month, you don't even have enough minutes to call the one on the 31st at all for his birthday. That's crazy. And all you fake that's keyboard... Crazy, but more importantly, that's sad. But let me get you this know? off my chest. You fake keyboard gangsters that's going to try and say, uh, 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 prioritize this and that. Nigga, you try and prioritize 300 minutes a month with your cell phone, nigga. See how long it takes you to use 300 minutes. And then you try and tell me how you're going to keep a family tied right. and a relationship. And fight your case. Connection. You know what I mean? Connection. Exactly. Connection with 300 minutes. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But I'm real hard on the fake keyboard gangsters that want to talk that bullshit. Because they bored. <laughs> y'all wish y'all had a podcast or a platform to say something on. So instead of just saying, man, you Nick, you doing your motherfucking thing. Which is what a player do. But instead, you'll look for something to say, oh, the baby was in the way and the doll. Oh, the doll was this. The baby was talking. You couldn't hear it. <laughs> nigga, shut the fuck up. Go get a shirt, nigga. You know what I mean? Go get a shirt because you sound like a nigga that's looking to tell something. So you look for anything going on so you can go tell it on the computer. You know what I mean? Uh, who said that? Martin Lawrence, one of them run tell that niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Come on, thing. dog. You know, back up, sit back, receive the information and try and grow from it. Try and elevate from it. Contribute something to it to help the other people reading to grow from it. Instead of looking for little things to knickknack. You know what I mean? Oh, a leaf blew by. Did you see that leaf? I can't believe the cameraman didn't get that. Fuck you. I'm rolling with Dan to uh, uh, DP 201, nigga. You know what I mean? He ain't had to get that because that's a part of life. But I'm just saying, this is the type of dumb shit I'm looking at. Motherfucker talking about my pants the other day. Like he dick watching. Oh, man. And if that's the case, I'm putting my cash app up on my uh, Instagram. So you motherfuckers that want to talk shit about a uh, 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 nigga gear, about DP uh, 201 sound system, or uh, our quality, donate towards the camera that we're trying to get. What's the name of that camera, D, what we're trying to get? Black Magic. The Black Magic. We're trying to get a Black Magic camera for $5,000. I'm just coming out of prison after 26 years. So if anybody there that knows somebody at Black Magic, you know what I mean, or, or, or would like to donate towards that to keep the program going, you know what I mean? Feel free to put a couple of dollars in the cash app at my YouTube. You understand what I'm saying? Towards helping to get DP201 in this camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead of criticizing about the quality of the film, do something to help us. You understand? Because we're trying to help you. You might not like the manner that I do it in. You know what I mean? Because I'm a cocky, arrogant nigga, but that's why they call me the cockiest kingpin. You know what I mean? I'm going to give it to you 100. And DP201, he's going to give it to you clear. You know what I mean? But we need this camera. You know what I mean? So don't criticize this shit. Get with this shit, because we all here together. You know what I mean? And who knows? We'll even call you in to come sit down and, you know what I mean, and thank you personally for helping us with this camera. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's where that goes, man. So, you know, I think this is the end of that one, and we'll just start another one. You know what I mean?